internal rotation pales rails from 90-90. 99 position here, hip to knee in a straight line, making a 90 degree angle here. Now, trail leg, same thing, hip to knee in a straight line, 90 degree angle here. We're working the, the trail hip in this case, so if you want, you can adjust uh, the front foot to make it more comfortable for you. Adjust the pointing the toes, flexing the ankle, or adjusting the leg out or in. That's okay, because we're focusing here. Okay, so just to highlight, this is internal rotation. So this position, the tissue that's being lengthened, is this tissue. This is the pales tissue. The tissue that's on the opposite side that's being shortened in a shortened position is the rails tissue. So the exercise is called pales and rails. So this is the pales tissue, this is the rails tissue. Now, depending on the situation you're performing this exercise in, you may be spending a long time, up to two minutes or more in this position. What we want is, regardless of how long, during the stretch period, we want you to turn your body if you can. Now, not just turning backwards. Now you're trying to turn back and towards your trail heel, moving towards this way, okay? Not just sitting back. Additionally, imagine you're trying to press your belly button down and your butt down. So butt down, belly button down, towards your, your trail heel. So this is the stretch position. And you can adjust and move around a bit to find the position that's best for you, uh, where you feel a deep stretch. It should be a deep stretch. Again, if your knee is off the ground here, you can place something underneath to make it more comfortable for you. Or you can just adjust your foot position here. Okay, then the pales contraction, as we said, is this tissue on the bottom here. We're imagining we're making this movement, trying to scoop our ankle into the ground, but we can't because we're pressing against an immovable object. But that's the pales, so it could be a 10% contraction, a 30% contraction, a 50% contraction. You're using all these muscles here to try and scoop your ankle into the ground. Okay, and before that, we're gonna irradiate. Irradiate means take a breath in, pack the air into your stomach. So when we're at 30% tension, my whole body's at 30%. It's not just I'm working my ankle and everything else is, is relaxing. Everything's at 30%, okay? Then, if you've gone up to 100, depending on the context that you're performing this exercise in, if you're performing the rails, normally it's not a gradual ramping, it's an immediate, um, from zero to 100% contraction. The rails tissue, as we said, is the tissue here on the pointing towards the ceiling. So now we're trying to squeeze here, up, up, up. Another feeling to imagine is to try and bring your heel towards your chest, trying to go this way. But because you're in your end range, you will not be able to lift your ankle. So if you do lift your ankle, that means you're not actually in your end range. So if you go, okay, and it's like this, this is you're not in your end range. So pay, to make sure you're in your end range. It's just a feeling that you're lifting your ankle off the ground. If you actually are, you're not in your end range position, which is where we want you to be. We want you in that end range position. So that's the rails contraction. So let's just review that quickly. Find the stretch by turning the body, pressing the, trying to bring your, your belly button down, butt down, working your body towards your trail heel, not just sitting back. After the stretch period, the pales contraction is using the muscles that are facing down, facing towards the ground, trying to scoop your ankle under 10 to 100% gradually, as instructed in the video that you're watching at that time. Then the rails contraction is normally immediately as hard as you can, trying to use these muscles on the outside of your, of your ankle after your leg, all the muscles pointing towards your support, towards the ceiling, trying to lift, 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 squeeze, the whole time always irradiating. So your full body tension. If you're squeezing 100% here, your whole body's 100%. If you're pressing down 30%, your whole body's 30%, okay? We're whole body tension, that's irradiation, okay? And then you repeat that for how many cycles um, as instructed in the video. And so that is a hip internal rotation, pails and rails from 9090.